This is my video to be in with Claire, Crafty Corner's very last collaboration video. So here I am with Rolio pigments from the Northern Lights collection. I've also used a Resin Jewels Chunky Glitter, which is absolutely beautiful and goes really well with those pigments. You just see me pour there, epoxy resin from J Diction, and I've made up 300 mils and added into separate cups the pigments from Rolio. I chose some lights and darks. I've got a, a shimmery white as well. And then with that really gorgeous glitter from Resin Jewels, what I've done is make up a paste. You'll see there it sits nicely where I want it. So just a small amount of resin in with that glitter and pop it in the middle. I'm doing them all individually. I don't want them to be exactly the same. I want them to look like part of the family. So a bit more like cousins and sisters and making sure that, that I'm just happy with them and that they've all got something slightly different. They do look fairly similar at the end and it's just, resin does what it wants. Um, it pulls from the outside in, which is what causes the, the lovely pattern and I absolutely adore using these moulds. So this mould is from Moulds and Shapes. It's a mould that I've had and used a few times. And I absolutely adore their moulds. They are absolutely amazing. Just going in there with a bit more dark blue. A little bit more glitter. Because we can't have too much glitter. And just making sure that I'm happy that they're full. I've just used a torch there to remove the bubbles. Just demoulding them from this beautiful mould. And it comes away like a dream. Back, yeah, the back's not great, but it wasn't what the back was for. It's about the top on these, and that's the way that this technique works. I've used a silver pen to finish on the edges, which you'll see in a second. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, Claire, for all the collaborations you've done. I look forward to seeing you at the weekend.